Okay, folks, for everyone that has problems in the bedroom, this is an interesting one. I'm the kind of person that believes that a relationship shouldn't be built with compromise in it, because I do believe that compromise causes impotence and other sexual problems and, and basically, yeah, I know what that's like because I've compromised myself, not going, not being in love with the person for the one, and the person being taking advantage of me uh, physically as well as mentally, uh, and this is what happens typically in uh, compromised relationships. It's really it kills the sex drive, and <laughs> it's just got nothing out of it, folks. <laughs> I think I probably would have been a lot worse than most. I'm extremely sensitive. I'm very fussy with things, particular. And I just can't function with compromise in a relationship. I've got someone I love, and he's the one for me, and I love him, and it's going to be good in the bedroom. I know it. Anyway, let's see what we've got. His name's Luigi, and I'm trying to use social media to get in touch. But anyway, it's one of these. Intense vibrations, stimula stimulating sensations. So most people, this is a gadget. So most people uh, think that sex is mostly physical, it seems. But if you don't have a spiritual or a, or a mental connection to that person, whammo, it's not going to work. It's going to be a, a relationship made in hell, I'm afraid. And if that's the case, you can't get that kind of feeling of sexual satisfaction if you're in a bad relationship if there's a lot of bickering and fighting and disagreements all the time it's not going to work it's going to weigh down pretty badly in the bedroom i'm afraid and this has turned up a treat but basically you just can't compromise in the bedroom it's really not an acceptable thing and I'm also a person who's a little bit traditional or old-fashioned I'll just put those there I'm a bit traditional and old-fashioned I don't believe in sex before marriage to me that's a form of uh, compromise that I just can't have I can't have compromise like that so my partner and I we're both a little bit on the old-fashioned side and we just don't believe in sex before marriage or even cohabitation this will be a challenge though because at the moment we're in the middle of COVID-19 uh, lockdown and this lockdown it's not just the lockdown it's I think it's going to probably continue till after the lockdown that Luigi and I won't be able to get married because marriages are no longer uh, allowed because of the spread, the easy transmissibility of the uh, Delta variant of COVID or coronavirus. But basically, it's really, it really kills the essence of, lit, of life, this COVID. And Luigi and I, we, want, we do want to have sex with each other. I don't feel any sexual company, sexual feelings at the moment. For some reason, they shut down. But it's good because if, if Luigi has the same spiritual connection that I have, he's, his sexual functioning will shut down. And I do feel, I don't feel comfortable having sex outside a wedlock, which would class, be classified as another form of compromise because we'd be compromising our ideals. And because of that, we just can't, we just don't find it to turn on. So the good thing about what Luigi and I have is that we can just switch off uh, while we're not able to marry, but we still want to get married. We don't really want to live like this for too long. But compromise in a relationship is not on. He shares my passion here as well with the photocopier. That's how we met. We, we were trying to get into a photocopier technician's course. And we started talking. And he's got other things in common as well as being into photocopiers. So we've got a lot in common and it's a spiritual connection that we have as well. It's not just a physical or even a mental. Um, it's mental, yes. It's 
spiritual as well as the rest of it. But anyway, this looks really quite interesting. Uh, that's turned up a treat. I think now we can call this demo quits.